afternoon. And today we're going to do something a little different than what I normally would do on my channel. I'm Trisha Lynn, and today we're going to do some online shopping. Yeah. I know. So today we're going to answer the question, can I get some cool, cheap tools for my crafting on Timu? Now, let's uh, dive into it. You don't need to see me. So if you are not familiar, this is Timu. Timu is I've heard it described as what Wish used to be. Um, no, I don't want a notification. Um, so I've heard of it described as what Wish used to be before the prices got more in line with what prices should be. Um, <clears throat> so when I go straight to the website, the, the biggest difference I have found is that Timu has free shipping on all of their orders, as you can see here. Hopefully, looking at my second screen, yeah, you can see my cursor is a little bigger um, thanks to a Chrome plugin uh, called Custom Cursor for Chrome. So. Uh, you can see my cursor a little bigger unless, of course, it goes over something. But anyway, all right. So they do have free shipping. So on Wish, a lot of times things are like $2, and then their shipping will be $5. So really, you're paying $7 for this thing. And when you look at it and see, oh, it's $2, that looks pretty good. But then when you have to consider it's $7 actually with shipping, and then if you look for a similar item on Amazon, you might find it for $7. Um, so are you really saving anything by ordering it on Wish other than having to wait forever on shipping? The other cool thing about Timu that I have found is that the shipping takes 10 days. So it's it's pretty much on the dot 10 days, um, uh, maybe a little sooner, but it's not, you're certainly not waiting forever, which there are items I have ordered on Wish that I never received or it took months to get here. So um, there's that. And let's dive in. So what we're seeing right now, I'm just going to clean my, my glasses a bit, is actually some things that I have already purchased um, off of Timu. I bought one of these um, ball hairpin, what are they calling it? Ball hair ornament, bird nest, hair tie, lazy hairpin. Okay, it actually is pretty great. I have used it kind of in this manner to bump up my ponytail, but also just kind of to hold a bun really quickly. And I mean, well worth 58 cents. Okay. Um, I got one of these. I've, I've bought these in the past, but not from Timu. So our focus today, like I said, is craft tools not any of this. So this, I would consider a craft tool, and it actually took me to a bunch of other things. So this is also our dilemma. I have a lot. Um, it has been said in the past that crafting and collecting craft supplies are two different hobbies, and I don't disagree. So, looking at what's on this page, I have no need for any kind of storage like this. I already have some of these, and I already have some of this. So, let's continue. 
Um, oh, interesting. Okay, so the first thing that jumps out at me is the cutting pad for Cricut. Now, these are the 24 inch ones, or are these 12 by four and a half inch? Okay, so these are actually for the Cricut Joy. Um, yeah, 12 and four and a half inch for the Cricut Joy. I don't have a Cricut Joy. Cricut Joy is a smaller, kind of more portable um, machine that actually uses something called smart materials and smart vinyl. So you don't need a cutting mat most of the time. Um, you can obviously still cut non-smart, dumb <laughs> materials um, using a mat. But I don't have this, so I don't have any need for these. And I don't know that you can actually use them with a regular Cricut machine. So, going on. Um, so, these are the kind of mats that I could use. And $3 for one mat. What is, is this just the color? It says light grip in the, in the corner. Standard grip, strong grip, fabric grip. Okay. Um, that's a really good price for these, but I don't personally need any more. Um, I don't know why it says DIY machine typewriter pad. If you've done any shopping, on Wish or AliExpress or Alibaba, <clears throat> any like Chinese site. And you'll actually see it on Amazon a lot more these days too, is um, a whole lot of these kind of titles that have all the keywords jammed into the title, which is annoying. But as an online marketer, I understand why they do that. But as a consumer, it's still incredibly annoying. So that aside, I don't need this. I'm going to keep looking. All right. <clears throat> now, I have these. Don't need this. Don't need those. What? Okay, this is what we're going to encounter on this journey we're gonna see some things that we're just gonna look at and say what the hell is that i have to find out <clears throat> helps you suck out blockages at prime time what what um portable first aid kit okay all right um so it's a plunger for a face. I guess six seventy five is not a bad uh, price for that, but that's weird. I right? okay. Keep going. Now, also, I understand. I hear you saying to me, um, "You have not searched for anything. You're just scrolling." I know. I'm curious to see what just pops up. Be before I start actually searching. Um, this has intrigued me. A one-piece R4 corner cutter, minimal, mini portable corner rounder, photo cutter, DIY craft scrapbooking tool. Okay. I have some of these. They don't look like this. And I'm kind of wondering if this is like a punch it looks like a punch and i don't think it is aha okay that gives me a better view a dollar 69 for this is really good normally you'd find them for on the low side like five dollars um but i like that this one is real low profile so i'm gonna go ahead and grab it because i have one but the one I have is kind of bulky and keeping it in my box with my like 
I, I have different uses for them, and I've been using it kind of on correspondence lately. So keeping it in the box that I have like my stamps and my washi tape and and my um, you know seals and things like that for sending out happy mail is a little bulky. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab that. So it looks like the black one is sold out. I don't really care. Let's go for this like rose pink one. And that will be the first thing that we add. All right, so that's craft tool number one. Now in terms of price, like the top, I, I have a gift card here to use. Um, that has about $50 on it. I don't want to spend $50, but we'll see. If I find something super cool that's like $10, it might be worth it. So, as I believe I mentioned in the description, and I'll definitely put it in there if it's not, this is part one. So, part one, we're going to do the shopping. Part two, we're going to un bag the things and I say unbag because truly they come in a bag um so it's an unboxing out of a bag all right so continuing again we haven't actually searched for craft tools yet we're just kind of seeing what's on this initial page Two fifty nine for a turntable, aka plastic lazy Susan, um, is not bad. However, I've literally found these at Dollar Tree, so I'm not going to spend now unless that one is considerably bigger than this one. I don't. I don't think it really matters. Um, but Dollar Tree is fickle, and Dollar Tree changes their... There's a lot of things that they have consistently that you can always bet they'll have. And then there are some things that are real hit or miss. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so maybe yours doesn't have Lazy Susan turntables, and you would grab this. $2.59 is definitely cheaper than you would find it on Amazon might be worth it the other thing that i see about this cookie turntable let's just look at it um it's five and a half inch so actually this lazy susan up here is far bigger than this five and a half inches is much closer uno momento oh they're down here okay so I take back what I was saying. This is a four inch Lazy Susan that has ball bearings. And I bought this on Amazon um, in a two pack for painting so that when I'm working on very small things, I can just kind of kind of rotate it and be able to do what I'm doing. Um, when painting like a small figurine or, or something like that. Now, a two-pack, I want to say was like $10 or $15. So, if a small, compact Lazy Susan is more useful for you um, at five and a half inches, also to have, I mean, it's got those measurements, but if it's only five and a half inches, there's no way these are, these are probably millimeters or centimeter measurements. Um but definitely a good little thing to have for small projects like this. So I'm not going to hate on this. I just don't need one. Okay. So continuing on. $1.49 for a brayer is pretty dang good. That one looks kind of small based on the thumb. Um, but still... These are adorable, but not craft tools. Aha. This is a interesting. Okay, so we have a one-piece Halloween star moon pumpkin bat silicone mold fondant chocolate cake decorating 
decoration, baking tools, DIY, epoxy, handmade soap mold. Okay, so what that incredibly long thing tells us is that you could use this for soap, you could use it for candy, um, for fondant. What I can't use this for, I will guarantee you, you could use this for resin, like the long set epoxy resin. But in my experience, what I cannot use this for is UV resin. Because I've tried molds that are colored and UV resin doesn't set all the way through. Um, in my experience, unless you're using a clear mold. So I don't think this would work for my UV resin, which is what I tend to use more when I do bust out the resin. <clears throat> but it's super cute. I don't see any kind of, wait, there we go. There's some measurements. So 0.35 inches. So, okay, they are very small. Overall, it's two inches across. So we're talking about like that big, you know, if this is four inches, this inner line is probably two inches. I'll just kind of, there you can kind of see the line inside. So it's real small for real small details. All right. <clears throat> Here's another nifty uh tool or um mold sorry there's some findings which are these actually let's see it's a hundred pieces it comes with the screw eye which is pretty good and this kind of lobster claw clasp for four dollars that's pretty good I've seen like just this part and the the split ring for cheap, but I really appreciate that it comes with the lobster claw and the screw eye. Because that's how I was making my, um, some of my keychains that I was selling were, um, Made with some sums, the little like rubber uh, plastic toys. And um, you just screw the little eye bolt in. But I have this. But that's something that if I ever run out, that, that's good to know. Now, will it be here? Who knows? Oh, son of a monkey. Okay. This is a nail art thing. But is this the four? Uh, it doesn't matter. Even if it's only one, this is $1.79, and I just paid like $5 for one of these. That's a little frustrating. Good to know. All right. Let's get down to it. I'm going to search specifically for craft tools. So, go back up here. Craft tools. Let's see what we find. All right. So, the first thing, so, again, because I am this way, um, <clears throat> I have these, I have that, I have craft weeding pen. I don't have that. Um, but the DIY mini electric fascinates me. The fact that it is electric, I like. Because I've used those little drills that are like, they're supposed to just screw and they, they work. They, they don't work that great for me. So, let's see here. It's USB powered. I like that. Okay, it's got the different little small electric drill made of high quality material, sturdy and durable in use. 
cylinder drill body is comfortable to hold. To be perfectly honest, it does not look that comfortable to hold, but I mean, it's got to be easier. Let's look at the, haven't tried it yet, but seems well made and great in making jewelry. I'm sorry. Why are you leaving a review if you haven't used it? That's good size, practical and useful, quick received. Well, no kidding. Haven't used it yet. Ugh, these mini drills are the greatest tools I have seen yet. Perfect for my woodcraft making. Good to know. I bought two. I'm giving my sister one. Little drills are the second order. Of, again, like, uh-oh. Ooh. Okay. I am also intrigued by the heat gun because I don't have one of those. I don't have a lot of use for one, but I don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cart. <clears throat> so, our, our, our card is $52 away from $12 off. Pass. Okay. I don't think we're spending that much. Let's go back. All right. So, I have a circle cutter. Although, this one honestly looks a little easier than the one I have. But, I have them. So, I don't, I don't need. Um, these I've seen, and I just don't do, you know, with having a cricket, I don't do a lot of little minutia cutting like this. Um, but I have seen this. I just don't know what I'd use it for. Probably a good tool, but not for me. All right. Um, so the Felting needles. I don't do felting, but that's interesting. Um, I have one of these. These are great by the by. Um, that kind of sticks to the table, and you can just pull your little weed weeding pieces off of. They're great. All right. So this shoddy is um. It's a Dremel. That's all it is. And for $17, I don't know if that's really that much of a savings. We could go to Amazon and look up a Dremel, and I'm sure they are closer to like $40. But I just don't think I really have the use for one of these. Besides the fact that I know my husband has one if I really needed one. So we are going to move on. This is another kind of weeding scrap collector. These are real useful, and I have one, although I don't know where it is, to be perfectly honest. And 71 cents is way cheaper than I paid for mine, which was probably a few dollars. Um, but I don't, I don't need another one just because I lost one. I mean, if, if I never find it, I need another one, but I, I don't need one now. The quilling stuff is interesting. Mm -hmm. If you are a, uh, a big quiller, Metal snaps, I have one of those. Quilting knitting board. Okay, I haven't. Center finder gauge. I don't think that's something I could necessarily use. This is pretty, but doesn't look very comfortable in the hand. DIY earring decor. What are these punches? Metal cutting dies. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're just like punches. Not of interest to me. Aha! Silicone mold for resin crafting. Now, these are the kind of molds that I said you could use better 
for the um, for the UV resin because they're clear and you can get the UV light all the way through. These are pretty generic. I like that they have the hands, though, that shows you approximately how big they are. Because sometimes you're looking at these measurements and you're like, oh, yeah, four inches. But you forget that four inches is really not as big as you think it is. These are super cute. They have, like, what looks like a glossy interior finish, which will affect how the resin sets, if it sets glossy or matte. So that's good. These are cute. Um but I don't think they're anything different than what I already have. So, moving on. Let me bust that up a little bit here. All right. White plastic gumming for uh, leather strap tool. Mandala dotting tools. How are these supposed to be different? Okay, that's just a zoom in of this. All right, I feel like this is... Aren't they? I don't know. Oh, they're not. What are they, just straws? That's weird. I don't know. It's a lot of... My dot work is not this precise. I wish it was. I wish it was. But, yeah. I don't think those tools are going to make it more precise. I think my being less uh, fidgety and more static on my hand will... That's not. All right. Still looking for things that I don't have. Do, 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 do. The glass cutter. I don't have a glass cutter. And I have often looked at them. But this doesn't, this looks like it is just... High quality alloy steel support rod, not easy to rust. Cutter wheel made of high quality alloy materials. Oh, oh, okay. I see where the cutter is right there. So, just place the bottle on the support equipment, apply appropriate pressure, and rotate. Adjustable acrylic plate and cutting blade. I don't know. That looks way like more simple than any of the things I've seen elsewhere. Which makes me feel like it's too good to be true. Let's see some of the I'm assembling it. Looks very good. Can't wait to try it. Holds a big bottle of wine. It's not supposed to hold it. It's supposed to cut it. Just as advertised with a little assemble required for the price and my hobbies. This is just right. I can't wait to use it. Wanting one. Didn't know anyone who knew how to do it. Okay. Didn't know where to get one. Easy to put together because of the decorations. It's made of very strong material and it does the job. You've just got to follow the directions and you can make awesome chandeliers. Just all kinds of different things you can do with bottles specifically. Frosted ones or colored ones. So I love it. Okay. That's pretty good. And that's recent. That's from January. This one is from February, exactly what I want. I, the bane of my existence it, in, in, in online shopping are these kind of prompted reviews right when you get the item when you haven't used it yet. Like, I don't really care if it looks exactly the way it's pictured. Does it work like it's supposed to work? That's what I want to know. That's what I want you to tell me. So, again, this is one of those things that I thought would be cool to have and make, but I don't know how much I'd actually use it. For the sake of this video, I'm going to add it to my cart for now. 
it's added. You see it. So we'll see if it stays there or if I abandon this idea later in favor of something else cool. Now, these kind of things are cool. Um, but I don't, this, okay, let me explain to you. These are one of those things that I look at and, and I think, would this make me sell more because I'd have the right tool? And I don't have a good answer to that question. For $1.48, that's not bad. So, I don't know. It, 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 just, it looks a little fussy. Let's move on. So, different, oh, clay tools. All right. I was going to say different kinds of brayers, but clay tools. What is this? Safex corrugated cardboard cutter, safety box cuttered with ergonomic grip, safe package box, opener tool for work or DIY. I mean, it looks like a mini little chainsaw almost. What is going on here? Okay. Round tip, micro serrated blade, non stip Teflon coating, custom grip handles, non slip grip. Okay. Is it max cutting depth? Is that just a grip? I mean, is this just a knife? I don't know, man. This seems awfully complicated just for a box cutter. Um, it doesn't seem like it is supposed to cut. Well, I guess it cuts maybe a little thicker than like a box cutter, but I don't, I don't see it being that useful. Aha. These are definitely tools I don't have. These, uh, they're made for ceramics, so when you are, like, using clay and sculpting, and they're little silicone tips with different angles so that you can maneuver the clay. I don't do any sculpting, so I don't know that these would necessarily be that useful for me. I'm looking at, like, other uses for them. But it really just seems like they're used on the clay. This is showing you, like, picking up gemstones, I guess. But I have a little silicone tool like this for nail art. And I tried using it to pick up gemstones, and it kind of doesn't work. Um, and same thing, like, yeah, I don't, I don't buy these pictures. So let's move on. This, these are the kind of, like, hand drills, the little twisty drills. <laughs> that I could never really get to work for me. Um, give me a second here. Oof, thank you. All right. Yeah, these are the kind of little twisty drills I could never really get to work for me. So... I'm I'm excited for this little powered one. Let's see if that's any good. Hopefully it won't just be like a pitiful little, you know, um, and it'll actually do some things. 10-piece vinyl scrapers. I mean, they don't go like funky that quick. I don't know why you need 10 of them. Um, diamond middle needle files. That could be good for little metal work. Crimping machine. I don't do anything that needs, like, I don't do this kind of quilling, but that's interesting. I am also open to, like, am I going to find some kind of tool for some kind of craft that I've wanted to do but haven't done? And that will lead me into experimenting for you guys. And I haven't found it yet. All right, Dremel accessories. All right, we're down to the view more. Our picks for you. What do we have down here? All right, the peep stalls are adorable. Once again, not what we're here for. 
Not at all. They're so cute. All right. Keeping that in a different tab. Um, this is interesting. Double and silicone sealing wax spatula tool multifunctional wax seal stir sticks. Now, that might be useful. I don't do, when I do my wax seals, I use a glue gun. Um, but having a little stir stick to kind of control where it's like flowing, once I push it out or uh, getting the glitter and stuff, this could be, this could be useful. All right. Um, is there a purple one? There is a purple one. For 98 cents, um, I'm getting two. Because these could be really useful. I'm debating getting a third one, honestly. Because, you know, if you've got these little things hanging around, they can also get misplaced. So that's also why I'm thinking of getting a third because, yeah, like the cosmetics down here, uh, food, come on. Timu. Gran, Gran Roto. What are you doing? What are you doing here? No, nobody's putting peanut butter on their bread with a spatula that can fit in a nail polish bottle, all right? This, you're, no, no. All right, I, I am going to get a third one. Because I can see multiple uses for these. So these are added. The, the bread is just cracking me up. Okay. All right. Continuing. These are just our picks for you. So they're not actually my... Um, these are more based off things I've bought already, I'm guessing. Neon gel pens. Are they paint pens? Gel pen, sparkle, water-based marker pen for greeting cards, mugs, wood. I don't know. I think that's just a gel pen. Yeah. I, I think I'm good on that. I've got gel pens for days over here. All right. This is definitely getting into... That's a adorable y'all all right hmm not a tool but a supply novelty mixed plastic beads okay these look more like sequins to me okay diy sequins supplies they're cute there's a ugh. the mixed nature though drives me insane you have to have one of these little spatulas to weed through all this crap to get the one shape you want. Nope. 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 All right. I'm going to go back up to view more. And see. I'm so confused. All right. Clap the mud clap. What the shit is going on here? Okay. Again, this would be good if I didn't already have something like this. So I think what we what we need to do here is maybe what are these ceramic box cutters? That at least makes more sense that it's a ceramic box cutter and not a um not a like a knife knife i have a ceramic box cutter that i got from walmart that was cheaper than this i'll tell you that and it is great but cheaper than this it and it like i said came from walmart so okay we're back up to where we were with some of these so a leather punch tool set i mean very useful if you're punching leather which i'm not Let's let's see what else. What the hell is this? Human shaped curving machine model paper quilling rolls. 
Okay, show me how the, oh. Okay, all right, it's just human shaped. But I see, I see, so you can stick your quilling tool through it, quill to the size you want, and then kind of double check it. That's handy. Again, I don't do paper quilling, but that's handy. I could see that really being useful. Again. For the paper quillers, I'm into it. All right. I'm curious what these are. DIY cute paw shaped silicone molds, handmade. Okay, that's just all they are. Why are they showing even the lights? Oh. Oh, they come with the light for a dollar seven. I mean, that's cute. Hmm. More of a supply than a tool. But that's pretty cute. So quick sand claw mold with four connected colored lights. That's two fifty one. And then you can get the different lights for about a dollar a piece. And then this mold includes this bundle includes the mold and, okay, <clears throat> this is where it gets confusing because is it 568 for the lights and the mold? And then it's 251 for just the mold. And then you can get each little light for $1.07. I mean, that, that seems to be what makes the most sense that it's the highest price is going to be what you, what you, you know, what gets you both. I'm tempted. <clears throat> Let's read the things. So glad I got this. See, I ordered this before from a different seller and they were supposed to send me both the mold as well as the little LED light, but I only received the light. So I came across the seller who thankfully was selling the whole sets or just the separate pieces. So anyway, happy I have both. Okay. So as I thought, this first listing is just the mold. Then we have each of the lights. Then the set that's got the lights and the mold. Cool. Wish I could reply to other people's reviews. You have to order the mold and the lights separately. Uh, worked very well. I used UV resin to make a small trinket box. Very happy with the mold. Let's see their little small trinket box. That's cute. I mean, but they used... I guess they used just parts of the mold, like this part and the lid, and not the part with the light in it. Interesting. Interesting. Let's hope that in my search, something, a different shape comes up like this. Because that's interesting. I'm not, like, ready to jump on it with the paw prints. But that is cute. What do we got here? Gift. Gift tool, woodcraft, hand mesh screen, and cloth duplex mold DIY paper making. Oh. This is the kind of stuff we used to do at Girl Scout camp. But obviously, the camp counselors made these molds. <laughs> um, because really, all it is is you, you get the mesh in a roll at, like, Home Depot. You get some wood and the hinges, and you're good to go. But... I mean, for doing this at home, obviously you're, you know, not doing it at Girl Scout camp. Um, I mean, maybe you are. I don't know. But uh, we're assuming here you're not doing it at Girl Scout camp. So that's not bad of a price. I I made all the paper I needed to make at Girl Scout camp, though, yo. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to make any more. It was, it is a long, tedious process that I will... Um, kindly pass on thank you unless i was 
you know, actually working at a Girl Scout camp, trying to show somebody else how to do it. Then I would, you know, refresh my skills and do it again. But I think we'll pass on that for now. All right. Um, leather thinning knife. That's interesting. 20 inch round silicone mold. That's huge, yo. I do not need that. Olive core carving clamp core from an olive? What are you what are you using this for? You know, this wasn't supposed to be a roast video, but it might be what it's turning into because what what are you? Uh well, no. I guess, man. All right. This is, I'm sure if you do a skill where this is useful, you will look at this and go, that's, yes, <laughs> what I needed. It's not, it's not doing it for me because I don't, yes. But, all right. Continuing on. Ooh. Resin mold fillings, gold leaf art decoration, golden foil, filling materials, jewelry making, two golden flakes for resin. All right. I love how it says all that and says for resin, but like right here, nail art, which is what I was thinking of it for. Um, all right. I'm, I'm done with the big yes. But, you know, they do have it in... The rose gold is so pretty. How big is this? Two, six, four. So it's 0.35 ounces. It's really pretty. Again, this is more of a supply than a tool. Um, what I don't... Dig. What I wish Timu had that I have seen on other um, similar sites is I don't have any kind of like favoriting or like wish list. And I wish they had that so I could like star this or heart it or whatever and come back to it later. Because this is the kind of thing that I feel like if I had a project for, I'd be like, Yes, let's do it. I don't I don't have a project for this. So I don't want I'm trying not to hoard more supplies that I'm not gonna use, you know, before I use some more of the stuff I've got. Alrighty. So your beads, punches. Lots of punches. I don't I don't know who uses those, honestly. And like I said, a lot of this, is that different price? It's 10 cents different. Whatever. Um, a lot of these, like, I have. Yo, what is this, though? Heat erasable magic marker pen. Temperature disappearing fabric. Pens. Oh, that is interesting. Huh. That's interesting, but I really wonder if it actually disappears. So these are nice, but you get one pen, 10 refills, still good for the price. Oh, yeah, for a dollar 19, that's pretty dang good. I used these today and they worked great. I was so impressed. I'm used to paying twice as much for one marker as I did for the whole set at Timu. Ironed off completely. Huh. Like in the past, when I've used things like this, it's been like those chalk pencils and stuff. And they're annoying and they, they don't actually come off. And 
great quilter's gift. Stocking stuffer for the quilted. Comes with pen you apply the ink to. With nib, insert several colors. We'll try soon. Just what I needed. Haven't you? Like, how are you going to give something five stars if you haven't used it? That's that's all I'm asking. The ink goes very fast. Well, that'd be why they include ten refills. Uh, same as description use them. They don't mark as well as I expected, but they work. Huh, okay. It seems like this would be a good, like, I think getting the multicolor so that you have, like, some darker and some lighter would be a good selection. What is, that's, I think we're already, yeah, multicolor. I don't know. I feel like for a dollar nineteen, I'm gonna go ahead and get this because it's small. I can easily put this in my sewing kit, and it'll come in handy when it comes in handy. So yeah, so we're up to seventeen forty-eight. Okay, the biggest things are that that's if we keep the glass cutter. I'm kind of thinking I will keep it in there for now. Um, but we'll see. All right. I think working off of two monitors that are not next to each other. I think somehow I got pushed back up to the top, which is annoying. I'm going to click this and see what the heck it is. Quilling knitting board, purple plastic, quilter's grid. Okay. Paper folding. This is not something I would use, but, oh, it's a, a receptacle for all the things in there. Yeah. I mean, those are all pretty things. I don't do that. Like I said, that's definitely one of those things where you look at it and you're like, oh, yes, perfect. This is great. I don't need it. Okay. This this makes more sense now. I saw 99 cents and the whole kit and I was like, what? Yeah. One piece. So, like, the small scraper, the tweezers, those tweezers are not worth $3. Let me repeat. Those tweezers are not, not worth $3. I'll tell you that right now. Crochet. The hook, $1.79? Sure. Straight needle? Just a, uh, sure. Scissors? Those scissors are not worth... Uh, maybe. Maybe on the scissors. What's the shovel? Oh, the scraper tool. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay $1.79 for one scraper. These tweezers, that $3, I mean, we're almost an hour in. That's bullshit, okay? <laughs> if you want to pay $3 for tweezers, get some tweezers that lock, okay? These are not... I'm going to, like, flip through and be... Oh, okay. They are locking tweezers. They're still maybe, maybe not worth three dollars. But being locking tweezers, this is a just a straight up knockoff of the toolkit you get. Um, you can get for Cricut made by Cricut. So, um, I think the whole kit. Let's go back to it. Um, it's okay. Like you're looking at a dollar. Four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, you're already you're already at about the same price you would pay for the cricket set. So unless you misplaced one of these things, 
and you want another one, just get the cricket set. Um, yeah, it did send me back up to the top. That is annoying. What are these? I keep seeing these. What are these fish threaders? Show me. How does it work? Uh, huh. You know what? I will, for under a dollar, I'll go ahead and get one of those. Because I have all manner of sewing needle. Wait, 10 pieces? I don't need 10 pieces. I mean, it's a dollar seventy nine. I don't need ten pieces. Hook the line, just pull it. Oh, now I know why they're called fish. Huh? Ah. I mean, I have all manner. Like I was saying, I got sidetracked. I have all manner of sewing accoutrement and different ways to thread that damn needle. And um. I would try that though. Like, I have these. These are not good for a sewing machine, but fantastic for like cross stitch. When you have those needles that you're trying to pull multiple little threads through, these are great. Um, 10 pieces for $2. Yeah, that's pretty good. You'd probably pay $2 just for one at Joanne's. So that's worth it. Um, I'm just curious. Now I'm just like, what is this? What is that? White plastic gumming board smear glue screen. So what you're telling me is it's a piece of plastic for spreading glue. All right. I mean, go off. I guess. Just, to me, that's like, that's one more thing to clean. I'm good. I'm cool. Thanks. Uh, portable needle, needle thread cutter. What do we got here? Portable needle thread cutter remover stitch unpicker home. Oh, it's a thread puller. Oh, it's a thread puller that's just got a fat handle. That could be useful, like, if you have arthritis or you're just having to undo a really big project. I can see it. Leather stamps. I mean, that's not bad. If you're going from my level of having zero leather working tools to paying $13 for a 20-piece punch set, that's not bad. I don't know how much. I mean, I have no concept of how much a 20-piece punch set should cost you. But... If they punch, they punch. I can't see that it's, you know, I can't see that you'd necessarily be better off going to Tandy Leather or, you know, Michael's or wherever to get this set. So that might be a good deal. It has been 20 plus years since I did any leather punching. Right now I have some, much like this, some, wait, hold on. This isn't what I thought it was. <laughs> so looking at this, I completely, 100% thought that this was like a roll of faux leather or something to cut. Shiny nail art table mat, sequins, foldable hand pillow, blah, blah, blah. Is, is this a resin, or I mean a, a silicone mat that is shiny? Oh... Oh. Okay. Here's the thing about this. It's pretty. But it's. Not really. Mm. I don't. Oh. Okay. That's a cacophony of crap right there. That looks like the floor of a Michaels in the 70s. What's going on? 
Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not into the the sequence ones, but like having just like a pretty surface, but is it textured? Love it, making my pictures pop. Not what I expected, but it's very pretty. <gasps> Shed sequins all over the table. How did you give that four stars? That is no, no, uh uh. How do you give that four stars when it sheds all over the place? Pass, pass. I uh, there's only two. If it sheds everywhere, yeah, no, mm, you've you've convinced me. If it sheds everywhere, I'm th looking at it thinking like if these are really strongly embedded into the silicone and there's like a layer of silicone on top but if they're textured it's mm, like that is pretty looking but also you need a lot of lighting set up to get that picture and not have it just like reflecting your lighting in every which way it's pretty but also probably pretty impractical these things these are the classic needle threaders you, you can't go wrong until of course inevitably the little wire gets pulled out at some point and then you're screwed um i can tell you right now this hook set you can get cheaper at harbor freight or 50 i know i got a hook set very similar to this with neon orange handles for like two dollars harbor freight um magnetic screwdriver set for 20 bucks not bad i got all the way up to the top and that's really frustrating that it somehow kicked me back up here also this is this is not a craft tool it's not a craft Sewing tools, accessories? How? What? Why? What are they? I've seen these, but I don't know what they are. Multifunctional thread rubber band tool? Huh? Oh. Elastic threading pushes pokes away from needle. Oh, see, I have something similar, but it's long. Like, you can string it through a whole, like, hoodie and pull it out. These would be good for, like, small projects, but I don't make anything that small that I would need to pull something through. And they're five and a half inches. Yeah, I I don't think I need that. I certainly don't need 10 pieces. Like, I could do with, like, one or two. All right. Good to know. Um, I don't do any bias tape. I've seen these before. Let's try... Whoa. I hit the space bar to get way down and got... Got this. What is this? Pen molds. Interesting. Um... Angle cutting tool and bow for play. Okay, more arctics for you. A few more. You know, this was 10 pieces for 79, and this is three pieces or 12 pieces. Uh, I'll just leave it. Okie dokie. A cigar cutter, again, is not a craft tool. It's not. It's just, it's just not. All right. I'm getting down to where I'm a little annoyed. Now, maybe I should have been more specific than just craft tool. What do we got here, though? 
Oh, precision tip applicator bottles, seven one ounce bottles for five dollars. How big are these bottles? That bruh. Bruh. You have quilling tools. You don't need to use the precision applicator tip bottles for your quilling. Thank you. This is what they are used for. Um, I mean, I guess you could put glue in them. I would think most glue already has that, but uh, I've seen some. That's just, come on now. 1.2 millimeters. I have no concept. Um, that's tempting. I have a couple of these that I haven't used yet for painting. Recently, we went to Color Me Mine for my birthday and did a, a painting party, and I used one to do dots on a on a um, box instead of my dotting tools. I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just used my dotting tools. Don't know what I was thinking. It was, I'm just way more adept with the dotting tools than I was in using this and getting it just the right bit of squeeze to get the size of dot. If you are doing like those mandalas where you have some big dots, some huge dots, some little tiny dots, and it's a pain in the ass to dip a dotting tool, totally understand. Not for me. Okay. So, I mean, $4 for a set of seven, though. $5 for set of seven is pretty good. Multifunctional sheet shape sewing. Yep. No. Two pieces. 98. Okay. I will tell you this. Two pieces for 98 cents for a dollar. That means two, four, six. So you're spending three dollars to get six. These look smaller. These look. Hmm. These might be the ones you want. They look smaller. They have like that needle tip. It doesn't say the size. The needle, I don't think. But this is this is the list you want to look for. There we go. Jewelry making tools. I have to imagine this is, yeah, $224 per tool, not for the whole set. End cutting plier. I'm like, that's about the only one I don't have. Side cutting, I have round nose. I have needle nose. I have bent nose. I have needle nose. Long no, I don't have those, but I'm not sure I need those. Yeah, that's pretty good. 224 for one of these tools, that's pretty good. I don't need them, but pretty good. All right. What? What is going on here? Holy moly, 10 100 millimeter glass cutting disc. Diamond saw blade for angle grinder. Well, this is like, you don't need this whole other setup. Just get it. If you have an angle grinder, boom diggity. Raising process upgrades include improved cutting edge safety in use. Son of a monkey. And that's 288. Shoot, I think the hubs has an, has an angle grinder. This is tempting. Nah. Nah. All right. But we have, like, dipped down to some other crazy things here. I tried to order one of these once and it never came. This, this might be added. Nine, nine piece for five dollars. Acrylic is easily broke. No kidding. 
high flex, high quality, flexible, waterproof, lightweight ruler set. It comes with a little ruler. Not that I mean, I have so many measures. I don't, I don't need another one. Quick to center, transparent material, easy to read. Remove the protective protective film firstly. Quick to center your design. Designed for multiple size T-shirts. This is nine piece, but it. Oh, oh, so there's like adult ones for these kind of different angles. And then there's child ones. Ooh, okay. That's getting added because it is so annoying trying to like maneuver it, a decal onto something when you're trying to think because especially because like if you're doing a shirt for a woman and you're doing just one small decal in like heat transfer vinyl you do not want to put that decal where it's going to be suggestively like over knits unless that's what you're going for it also like it's terrible when you're like oh i'll put it over here and it'll be like right here and it'll be cute and then you get it on the shirt you put the shirt on and it's like in your armpit or it's like on the side of your boob or something completely not what you wanted so this is great all right well worth five dollars this this is what we've been looking for folks <laughs> This is the, the the winner here. We're at 32 some odd or $23. Let's continue. These are really good um, for different, different winding different shapes and stuff. I have some. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> These are dangerous. Have y'all seen everything everywhere all at once? You're welcome. Um, I know some people I could give these to. And I feel like a thousand pieces for three forty eight. dollars I want you to pay at Michael's though. So just go to Michael's. If you have nefarious uh, googly eye. The, the evil eyes are almost better. But I don't have a good use for them. I mean, 50 pieces of these for 88 cents is great. This is, again, a supply and not a tool. So, we're, we're still looking. I think we might have found, like, the pinnacle of tool that we need with, with the t-shirt sizer. But we're still going to go through. And I'm still not 100% decided if I'm leaving that glass bottle cutter in my cart or not. See, okay, here we go. This being the whole set for seven, eight. Oh, it's not the whole set. Uh, oh, what do we have here? This might be something I don't have. 16 marine, terrestrial, amphibious. So, some of those words don't go with each other. <laughs> uh, animals keychain making silicone mold for epoxy. So there's two. So there's this one, which is like a little Pomeranian, a squirrel, a hummingbird. Uh, other bird. I don't. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Just by looks, a snail, a frog, a lizard, and a penguin. And then you have one which is like an octopus, a jellyfish, a stingray, a sea horse, turtle, a really weird like big nose dolphin, angelfish, and a starfish. Tempting. Here's why I'm not going to get it. 
I like dolphins. That dolphin is real weird to me with the like big nose. It's just a weird angle, and so I can't abide. The octopus is adorable. I like the octopus. I even like the kind of stubby seahorse. But I don't jive with the like weird kickback starfish. And the the big nose dolphin is just weird. So tempting. Not not gonna not gonna jump on it. I've seen these box cutters. I don't think I need a big box cutter. What do we have here? A mushroom silicone jar? See, these really require using, like, epoxy resin. And I have not yet dipped my toe into that world yet. I watch a lot of reels on Facebook of people working with resin. Like, real resin. I watch a lot of videos of people working with resin. And I even have a resin, like, kit that I got. I just... I just, I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I haven't I haven't pulled the trigger yet on those. So one of these one of these days I will see. Here's why. Here's why. This is gorgeous. Like not the mold. The mold's great. Look at this. This is beautiful work. I do not think I can do this. I really don't. And so, I mean, $5 for that mold is pretty good, too, by the way. Um, I just don't think I could. And I I want to. But also, look at, like, watch this little video down here. You, you see it, like, going? That's a big-ass surface to have to sit somewhere and cure. You notice that I do most of these videos sitting in a recliner in my living room? I have a desk. It's got my work computer, like my day job and stuff on it. Um, and I have a folding table that never gets unfolded with my cricket and a lot of other stuff underneath it. I, I don't... Hmm. There's a lot of um, decluttering and cleaning that would have to do, be done. Uh, for me to have a large enough surface to set resin things aside to cure. One of these days I'll do it. I don't know how soon that day is, though. Um, glitter tape. That's cute. Like, I don't know about this price for this silicone craft pack. I appreciate that it's got, like, all these but you have to lift everything off the craft pad to go wash these out i don't know how practical that really is also i don't love the color and it only comes in the one color 13 dollars. i mean i feel like you could get this on amazon for the same price you're not saving anything by buying this on team so and I think that's kind of, I mean, a lot of this, I'm sure, positive. I could go to Amazon and find most of this stuff. But am I going to find it for these prices? Is the kind of biggest question. And we'll, we'll answer that question maybe in my next video. When I, um. When, when I actually get the items and unbox it. So, that's more quilling stuff. What is this? These look vaguely familiar. Okay. Position cross stitch row line tool set. What? Okay. That helps you to sort the colors. Which, I have things that do that that are not nearly this bulky. Is it just because you can... Mm, I'm, I don't love it. 
I will I will pass. Thank you. On that one. Oh okay. A wood burning pen. Now I'm so torn on these. I've seen them used. And while they they look generally cool. You see how in this picture these these look kind of photoshopped on or just painted on with like a black sharpie? I hear that's kind of how they look. So if it really gave you like that kind of inconsistent burnt wood like finish. I, I'd be into it, but a lot of times it just looks like paint or a black Sharpie. Like, come on, really? With a, a Bic lighter, you're going to, I don't, I don't know. So all that to say, here's why I might buy, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> Because they're not necessarily cheap on Amazon. So I feel like if I got it for $318 on Timu and it didn't look great, I wouldn't be as disappointed having spent this. Let's see what they've got. That looks decent. Having a blast exploring it, making super cute projects, and then buying more. That doesn't look terrible. All right. I wish there were more with photos. Not what I expected, but works, I suppose. If you have to say that is not a three, four star recommendation, Megan. I'm sorry, girl, um, who just got her, or got it yesterday. That, that's not a good recommendation. That's not four star worthy. If your whole, if your whole review is not what I expected, but it works, I suppose. I don't know that you should be giving something four stars for that. Um, that kind of looks like crap, if I'm honest. It's, mm, I mean, were you trying to, like, burn it and then write on it? I don't know what she was trying to do. Just as, just try. I mean, text-to-speech messes with us all. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna pass. No! It put me back at the top. All right. How dare it. Um, let me see if I can get back to where we were, but if I can't go, I'm kind of done. This is guy brush piercer scraper. Okay, sure. Um, so irritated that it did that to me. What do we got down here? Skull. Uh, oh, the little ring adjusters. That's not my problem, ring adjusters. I need the ring bigger, not not smaller. Um, obsidian. More of a supply than a tool. Heat resistant silicone pads. Those are just little pads. Aquarium glass cleaner. Interesting. Obstacle molds. Okay. I've gone off the... Oh. Okay. I've gone off the rails into my suggested again. Because... They screwed me on pages. So disappointing. 
just dash my dreams this way. All right. Um. Yeah. I'm seeing familiar things, but not where we were familiar things. How dare you, Timo? This is why I don't like this view more kind of situation. Website developers out there, if you're listening, which you probably aren't, but you know, maybe. Um, just have multiple pages, man. That way, at least I can go back to the last page I was on. But, okay. I remember the gigantic pencil. Metal cutting dies. Grass. Oh, yeah. I don't. I have a cricket. I don't need that kind of die for cutting. I mean, it's. You know, decent. Okay, we're at wood burning pens again. Resin pigments, which I also learned don't work that well in UV resin. They kind of work, they kind of don't. It's real hit or miss. Portable scissors. What the hell? That's intriguing. Mini, one piece, mini portable scissors, paper cutter, knife, two in one multifunctional pocket pen shape, scrapbooking, carving, cutting, art tools for crafts, office, home, school, kids. So it looks like we have scissors on one end and a ceramic cutting blade on the other. That's an interesting offering. $2 for that? That's not bad. I don't know. I don't know how useful that size of small scissor would be with the cutting tool. But I would guess if you have a small, like, area. Or if you're taking crafts with you on the go. That could be pretty useful. It's clever. It's definitely something I've never seen. So. We'll give it that. But I'm going to pass. Because I have plenty of scissors. And plenty of... Uh, cutting apparatus. Okay. So now I... It looks like now we're seeing things based on what I clicked before. So we're seeing more leather crafting. Uh, more scissors. Glass... Uh, a now that's interesting. It is both the jump ring holder or opener and a thimble. Um, but I don't really use a thimble and honestly don't know anybody who does. And we haven't come across anything like the paw print, um, like the paw print with the little light mold in a different shape. Slightly disappointing. All right. Lots of... Now, this is interesting. It's like a perfume bottle and has the little, little spritzer. That's an interesting mold I have not seen anywhere else. $5 for that is probably pretty good for a mold, considering you're going to be making a whole bunch that's pretty decent. Um, but I don't need it. Because again, regular resin. You really kind of need regular resin for that. Not, not the UV. Leather art marking. Oh, that's the quilling paper. A retractable. See, see this, like this precision craft glue. That's pretty useful. With that, like, tip on it. But I don't know anything about this B7000 glue. It honestly looks like a knockoff of E6000, 6, 5000. 
Now I don't even know what thousand, but you know what I'm talking. Um, I don't know if if this is if the glue is really that good. You might just want to get one of those little squeezy bottles and put your own glue in it that you know is good. Um, but yeah, double-headed utility knife, also interesting. Those are like the most awkward. I mean, I guess they're... Those look real awkward to me. They make me uncomfortable. Rhinestone head pins. Cute. Unnecessary for me. Ring stretch office scissors? What the heck? What's the point of this? They're just scissors. Oh, they're like kitty scissors. All right. Don't need those. No kitties. Okay. This is speaking to me because it's only a dollar fifty, <laughs> and it's much smaller. And there's a well. There's not a mixed. There's oh well. That's two dollars. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. So the rose gold. If we want to get real bougie, we have to pay an extra fifty cents. It was more tempting, smaller, and easier to just kind of tuck away in my in my nail art stuff. But okay, I think I am getting to a point where there is a tool that I don't know if they have. I had one years ago I don't know whatever happened to it and I wonder there are colored wiggly eyes <laughs> wood blanks for uh, bookmarks again more of a supply than a tool uh, glass cabochon ending settings. More uh, molds for resin, which I have. The spoon rest is cute for the mold. Um, all right. So, I think we have reached the point where I'm going to search for that one tool that I wonder if they have. And then we're going to, we're going to land this. So, the tool that I wonder if they have that I haven't seen here is okay that's interesting though um that's that's adorable is a flower pressing kit so let's go back to the top flower pressing And it's real, like, simple. It's probably something I could make. Um, but if they have a kit, which it's not looking like they do, to be totally honest here. I see a lot of, like, already dried flowers. Um... Yeah, a lot of already dried flowers, but not a flower drying. So let me just look for flower pressing. Dried pressed flowers for resin. Yeah, that's great. What if I want to press my own? Come on. 
it was just like honestly it was just like some some layers of cardboard and some like X, like wing nuts on the four corners to press it between like some cardboard and leave it there for a week or whatever and get your pressed dried blowers excuse me and I'm kind of surprised that I'm not seeing that or what is this oral printer card sticker printer what it's just a punch it's a embossing machine it's a it's a whole punch all right or a, a shape punch I should say oh let me just look for flower so sorry guys flower press flower press drying plates maybe that's what I need nope apparently not well how disappointing I mean, I'm seeing some cool stuff, but not, certainly not, but I was, <sighs> sorry, what I was looking for, which is very disappointing. Oh, well. Yeah, see, there are a lot of pressed flowers to, to be used that are good to go and, and ready for use but not a little presser kit that I can use to press my own disappointing oh dear I'll, uh, I'll go back for that later if you know you know if you saw you saw all right so, ooh, what is this? Very interesting. I dig this. I don't think I have any loose paper that needs to be held together like this, but I dig it. And this is also why I would really like, Timu, if you had... Oh some kind god i'm sorry if you had some kind of wish list is there no no kind of wish list. i really would like to have a wish list and not just have stuff sitting in a cart um so i could like pin these for later and use on chip bags All right, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay. Last thing, you know what? There's one more thing that I am going to search for. What does that look like? Like after you stamp it. I want to see it stamped. There we go. You used it on toilet paper, ma'am? I mean, if that's what you wanted it for. Handles plastic. Well, yeah, we knew that. Eh. 
and show me the actual pressed wax. All right. The last... Mm -hmm. Getting into what I was going to search for. Photography equipment. Um, this is just a little, like, dashboard clip, which isn't what I was thinking. But... 350? 350! That's pretty good for that. Um... I don't know how far down I have to go to find like a products like this kind of based on recently reviews transfer tape. That's a good price for transfer tape. Transfer tape's always expensive for no good reason. Um, there may be things on this page that I have purchased. Use that information for what you will. Um. <laughs> it's just the phone. Yeah, it's not like magnets or anything. Okay. Again, more of a supply than a tool. But it is, you know what? Definitely something I can use. I have one. I could use another because it gets misplaced. All right. So, to review, because I am probably going to add other things to here that are just home good type things and not um, not related. Oh, that was the page I needed. I wanted to see. This was that other page. Okay, so let's review the cart and what I will be unbagging in part two. Uh, click here to select items that you need to check out. Got it. Got it. All right. Normally, I do this on the app on my phone. All right. So, we have the nine-piece t-shirt ruler guide vinyl alignment tool to put heat transfer vinyl onto t-shirts. We have the plastic fish needle threaders. We have the Heat erasable magic marker pen set. We have the three double end silicone sealing wax spatulas. We have the glass bottle cutter, which I still don't know if I'll leave in this cart. I'll figure it out. Um, the mini portable electric drill and the corner cutter. So that's what we've got for our hour and 44 minutes of scrolling and I didn't look ahead of time for, for anything um, to have any kind of idea of what I would be looking for. Um, again with the toast! Nobody is using this thing on toast. Come on, man. Alright. So... Um, cutter. Okay. Now I'm just like, what other what other stuff are they trying to sell me down here? Um, a different corner cutter. Different uh, items. Epoxy. Oil transfer replacement for $7.50 when I paid like $25 for my set in um, also annoying. I totally need some of these for some other things. All right. Thank you so much.
for joining me on this adventure. So that's what we're getting on Timu. That's what I will unbag next time and use, hopefully, um, if it's not complete junk. Thank you for joining me. Thanks so much for coming by and watching and hanging out. Um, and next weekend, to give you a little bit of a preview, actually, uh, I, I ordered this today as I had a, a gift card uh, earning a hole in my pocket. And it's chrome. It's so pretty. So next week, I will be recreating a manicure I did in 2014 using the new Hollow Taco One Coat Chrome Collection. So if you want to see that, 2 p.m. Uh, next Sunday, the 5th, um, we'll be doing that here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming by. And have a great weekend. Well, bye.